draw water from a well. I made this machine from which it automatically pulls water from a well. Automated window closer which closes automatically in the evening. Uh, in day to day life, people usually get from, forget to close the wind, their window. For, because of this problem, uh, there are so many mosquitoes in their room. Why we created the Ignited Space was because we saw a lack in a proper creative education methodology where kids senses such as creativity, exploration, learnability is ignited. So Ignited Space was created by myself and Hasid Jagahavita on the fundamentals of igniting children's creativity and empowering them to create their own destiny through entrepreneurship. Uh, for the past two years in operation, we've created a unique innovation curriculum where kids get to solve real-world problems by understanding pain points of people, by having deep empathy, and then using technology uh, from electronics to computer programming to robotics um, to actually bring solutions to solve these pain points. The innovation curriculum at Ignited Space is built on several fundamental education philosophies such as we get kids to practice learnability over just gathering knowledge. We want kids to learn by themselves by exploring rather than just forcing knowledge down their heads. We also talk about making over consuming or making over assembling. The concept there is we get kids to actually make, to cut and pen and break different components, materials they find and to build it rather than just assembling parts. To take this innovation curriculum into the students and get them to be creative, we've created different kinds of methods to do this. One, we have our own flagship maker spaces from all the way here in the western province in Colombo to Moratua and all the way to the central province in Kandy, we have five of our own maker space. We run an innovation program where every week groups of young innovators come to look at real world problems and use technology, use engineering to come up with solutions to these problems. We also host up to 10 innovation exhibitions around the country at these flagship maker spaces where students at the end of the program have to come up with their own unique innovation. Since our motive is to democratize this creative education, we wanted to reach out to students in schools itself. So we partnered with international schools to bring our innovation curriculum into right into their subjects so that now Innovation or problem solving is actually a part of their school timetables. We work with schools such as Asia International School, OK International School, Stafford International School and also we've conducted sessions at so many Colombo and uh, schools out of the Western province as well. Number three is through disrupting the public education system. This is our main goal. We want to make sure that this creative education is available in every single government school in Sri Lanka. So we've been working with the Ministry of Education, the 
ICTA, the ICT Agency of Sri Lanka, for the past year in trying to get this curriculum into schools. We've also launched a book called The Innovative Diary, which contains innovation activities and can be used as a school textbook, both in private and government schools, where kids can do these innovation activities in school and take them home. We set up a service called Ignite a Bean, which is a monthly innovation kit subscription where any child in any part of the world can get a subscription to this uh, service and we will send a monthly innovation kit right to their doorstep. We've partnered with the US Embassy in Sri Lanka and we conduct these innovation and creativity programs for kids free of charge in Colombo and in Jaffna. We've also partnered with IKT Norge, the ICT agency of Norway, to launch several programs for kids in Norway. We launched a program called Make-A-Wish last December for Christmas in 2017, where when a child from Norway orders a innovation kit online, a copy of that same kit goes to an underprivileged child in Sri Lanka. Five months ago, in early 2018, we've launched a venture called Startup School. Startup School is Sri Lanka's first entrepreneurship school just for kids. It's a 12-month long incubation process where we get a group of enthusiastic entrepreneurial thinking kids and we take them through their entrepreneurial journey. We launched a product called Creato Kids, which is a retail toy maker kit where kids can buy it off retail fashion stores, retail grocery stores, and they can do the innovation activity right at home. And we have also started the development of an online e-learning platform where the same content can be delivered to kids anywhere in the world. 